All right, guys, it's Monday morning. Um, we weighed in Saturday on at 268.2, I believe. Let's see the damage we did over the weekend. Two seventy five. Fool this man. No! Damn. <laughs> All right. I got some work to do. Let me talk about it. All right, guys. So Monday morning, we're outside the gym quick recap of this weekend um i'm actually kind of surprised at what what happened with the weigh in this morning 275 uh was not expecting that uh had some time to think obviously on the way to the gym and this is what i think would happen so saturday uh my meal meals or whatever went to ihop for breakfast and then we ate nachos at night I don't think the food was a problem. I think this is what the problem was. I was debating when we went to IHOP if I should drink water or sweet tea. I went with the sweet tea. And I downed a couple of cups of sweet tea. Uh, at night, I did not drink water. I actually drank... Um, Two cans of soda for the night. So on Saturday, I did not drink a drop of water. Sunday, went to a birthday party. Had some brisket, rice, beans, cake. Um, drank with water. And then at night, last night, Sunday night, uh, no meal replacement. But I did eat the handful of nuts with the turkey breast. And was that it? I think that was it. So what I think what really messed me up was those damn sugary drinks on Saturday and no freaking water on Sunday. So basically, sat all day Saturday was just, you know, quote unquote, good food. That was not really good for me. Uh, with soda and sweet tea, just sugary drinks. And my body just like, sucked it all up because obviously with no water, we couldn't flush out any of the bad shit, or some of it at least. So I think it just sucked it all up. Uh, I don't really see Sunday at all being bad. I think it was Saturday that really messed me up. Not really with the food. Um, obviously, the food is you know good food, but not really good for me. Um, but that's my reward day. And <laughs> I think it was those damn sugary drinks that really fucked me up. But hey, I think we can just... Um, bounce back from that this week obviously we can we just gotta get back on it eating right again and um you know drinking lots of water and also be conscious of that next this coming weekend uh drink a lot of water man it's gonna be water because them damn sugary drinks are just like i i can i don't even know how many empty calories and it's all just sugar and they're just gonna turn into fat automatically i mean it's just a quick quick taste of something that's something good and then it just transfers into being fat which sucks obviously um i'm hoping that um after a couple of days this week i can drop that that weight um we had saturday weigh-in at 268.2 um I think we can get past that this week. I don't think it's going to be like the when I mess up the that one week where I just ended up weighing the exact same thing the following week. Basically just negating that, that mess up that I did. I think we can actually pass that. I think once 
my body can get in the gym, kind of work all that sugar out, piss it all out, um, burn it all off, and move on, um, I think we can get back to losing more weight and being past that 268.2 at the, by this Saturday. But we'll see. Again, I'm not discouraged. I've done it before. Um, just going to get in the gym again Monday. Quick workout starting with stretching, starting with cardio, and ending with weights. I'm not sure, though, what we're going to be doing today. I'm thinking biceps, triceps, um, but I'm also considering shoulders. Again, Monday mornings are just to get my week started on a good note. But they're also during my work week. So they're just quick workouts, kind of in and out. And, um, you know, we hit the gym hard on Thursdays and Fridays. Um, I'm really considering coming in on Saturday mornings, though. Just because, yes, it helps with the weigh-in on Saturday. But on top of that, it kind of gets my body in like a fat-burning mode, I guess you want to call it. Or just metabolism cranked up high for the Saturday enjoyment of food that i'm going to be doing uh, we didn't do it this saturday we see what happens um i'm not sure if that's really a factor though just because there was, the week before i didn't work out and i dropped obviously in the 260s so i don't know but i think it's just beneficial overall i just gotta know to um watch myself with those sugary drinks because you know, typically I would throw a hard, hardcore munch um, Saturday morning, whatever it is that I ate. I didn't. I just had my, you know, meal at IHOP. Um, but it was damn sugary drinks, you know, and I was fine. But those damn sugary drinks, I think that's what really fucked me up this week. But like I said, I think we can just get past that. I think we can get this my, my metabolism going, get in the gym eat right, drink tons of water this week, and um, get back on track. Hopefully within a couple of days, honestly, I think we can get back on track pretty quickly for this one. Um, but we'll see. So let me get in the gym. I'll let you know what I did. All right, guys, we are in the freaking car wash again. Um, got done with my workout. So what we did today was a stretching, 30 minutes of cardio on the elliptical. One thing I forgot to mention about that elliptical, though, guys, was uh, I threw 30 minutes on the elliptical, increasing the intensity every two minutes. So we did that and then finished off with bicep and triceps. Uh, what I did was superset them, obviously. So I would do, I started off with the 20s, uh, tricep extension, bicep curls, and then standing calf raises just to break that up, give my arms a slight rest. In between sets um, every set all the way till failure so just did one set of each move on to the next weight which is the 25s or all the way to I think I got to the 35s where I can only push out three reps on the triceps and the biceps then we bring it back down so after the 35 we get the 30s the 25s the 20s um, and that was it a quick in and out workout Stretching, cardio, bicep, triceps, calf races, and now we're on my way home after this car wash to get ready for the day. Gonna take a quick nap before I have to get up for work. Get up, get my meals ready, and head out to work, and I'll show you what I'm gonna have to eat for the day. All right, guys, so just woke up, got my meal prep going, my meals for the day. Let me show you what I'm eating today. All right, so we have my asparagus, two bananas in an orange. Usually I have an apple, but I completely forgot to buy apples this week at the store. Um, this is actually like just a concoction of different foods. It's uh, ground meat with rice and beans and cheese and a little bit of beans in there too. So it's, yeah, it's kind of weird. I actually just like leftover food that's just put together. This is my meal prep, rice and beans, and enchiladas, chicken enchiladas. Um, there's a meal replacement right there. Very important to take that. And a little bit different things we're going to do today. We're going to take it actually in a shaker bottle. My freaking Stone Cold Steve Austin is like, if you want to lose weight and stop being a fat motherfucker, give me a hell yeah. <laughs> um, 
But yeah, something a little bit different we're going to be doing this week, guys. I got some um, suggestions, some advice. Um, eat your heaviest meals first and eat your lightest meals last. Reason being, um, this was the logic behind that advice. You want to use your heaviest meals throughout the day, be able to burn it. Not at the end of the day, even though my logic was eat at the end of the day so I do not feel hungry at night. He goes, no, because you will actually, your body's already starting to slow down because your internal clock knows it's already time to kind of slow down, shut down, and get ready to go to bed for the night. So that's why you want this to be your first meal, um, meals, whatever, and that to be your last. So we're going to try that this week. So, um... Since I'm taking in a shaker bottle, this is not going to be my breakfast as I normally would. Um, this will probably be what I eat first, second, uh, snack on these in between, and then right before I leave work for the night, before I come home, I will take the meal replacements. Okay, so that's my meals for today. I'm going to try this method this week, see how it works out. All right, see you tomorrow. Alright guys, so it is Tuesday morning, getting my meals ready for the day. Um, there's my meal prep, enchilada, rice, and beans. <laughs> Funny thing about that one. Here, yesterday I said how I'm going to eat my heavy meals first. Well, I should have thought twice about that because these damn beans gave me a lot of freaking gas early in the day at work. So, with that said, I'm going to eat this last today. Basically what I mean usually normally do. So obviously the meal replacement this morning. And in between that is going to be leftover wings, fries. There's a dipping sauce right there. But also plain asparagus, avocado, orange, and a banana. So that's what I'm going to be eating today. Alright, we'll see you tomorrow. Alright guys, it is Wednesday. So we got my meal prep. As always, enchiladas, rice and beans, uh, two bananas, an orange, bag of asparagus, chips, uh, turkey sandwiches. I've been eating this all week. I'm uh, actually kind of looking forward to it. Kind of weird, I know. And as always, my meal replacement. Uh, I'm going to be taking it with me, though. Um, put in my shaker bottle there. But yeah, that's it for Wednesday. Uh, I'll see you tomorrow. All right, guys, Thursday morning, fully energized, fully refreshed. I'm going to take a scoop of that pre-workout and hit legs today. Just like every Thursday, we do legs. So Thursday, we're going to be doing squats, leg extensions, leg curls. Um, in between those, I'm going to be doing, not sure yet, maybe shoulders, maybe back. I'm not really sure, but I'll definitely let you know. And as always, we finished off with 30 minutes of cardio. Um Wayne's in a couple of days, so yeah, we're going to be hitting it pretty hard today, tomorrow, and depending how I feel, um, more than likely, Saturday morning. But anyway, guys, let me get in there, do this shit, and I will let you know what I did. All right, so just got done with my workout. Uh, a little bit change of plans, though. Uh, so we did the stretching, then we did squats, same thing, uh, 12 sets, started off... <clears throat> with the lowest weight, increasing the weight every two sets. And after that, we moved to supersetting shoulders and lats. What I did was just different variation of shoulder workouts and rotating between that and assisted lat pull downs. Going back and forth, so we superset that. Believe me, after the squats, after that superset, I was done. But I pushed through. Finished off with the leg extensions and the leg curls. And of course, we finished off with 30 minutes of cardio. Uh, a little bit of different. I'm hoping that it um, shows the benefits. But yeah, I'm uh, going to go home. I'm going to eat something. I don't know what I'm going to eat, but I will definitely show you. So I'll see you at the house. All right, just got home. It's time to freaking eat. Let me show you what I'm going to eat today. Two hamburgers with some fries. No, those are not from no damn restaurant. The ground meat and turn into hamburgers. So a little bit healthier choice. Also with a big glass of orange juice. So that's going to be my post-workout meal. 
All right, guys, Friday morning, we're here at the gym again. So real quick, last night, yes, I did get hungry. Um, didn't get hungry until later on in the evening, again, right by 11 o'clock. So I ate a meal replacement with a can of tuna, just the tuna straight out of the can, no, no extra, just like that. So it was a lot of the meal replacement and a ton of protein right there. And it was a, not a regular little can of tuna. It was one of those cans that said it has three servings. I ate the whole damn thing. So that's what we're coming in on. Um, that's what I ate last night. So we're going to hit the gym right now hard. And then we're going to meet my wife for the post-workout meal. Again, I do not know where we're going to eat, but we're going to be eating. Um, haven't really planned out what I'm going to be doing the rest of the day, though, as far as eating. Uh, but we'll see. Obviously, we're going to keep it light. Uh, tomorrow's the weigh-in. More than likely, though, I will come to the gym again tomorrow. Reason for that is because I just feel, one, obviously it's good for the weigh-in. <laughs> and also, two, it also just helps negate whatever damage I'm going to do over the weekend. Anyway, guys, today, chest, back, and I don't know what else we're going to do. It's whatever I feel like. All right, see you in a little bit. Uh, all right, guys, so a lot to catch up with because I completely forgot my phone later on today. So let's start with the afterwards with the gym. So I did chest and back, um, different variation of dumbbell presses, flies, decline, um, and then um, standing rows, um, bent over rows, I'm sorry. Um, transition into a machine that you can do back extension, back flies, and then chest flies. So I did with that and, um, finished with the 30 minutes of cardio. So that was my workout. Post-workout meal, I went to Bill Miller's with my wife. For those who don't know who it is, it's just a barbecue place where I had a poor boy, fries, a uh, slice of pecan pie with water and two rolls of bread. Just, you know, for whatever. Um, just finished eating right now. Now, here's the thing. Again, I was planning to eat my normal meal replacement. Maybe some nuts, some turkey, whatever. That did not happen. I get a knock on the door from my daughter. I served you. Okay. Come outside. There's a plate of steak. Salad, potatoes, and was that it? Macaroni. So, ate a plate of that with a big cup of water. Um, yeah, I don't know how it's going to affect me tomorrow, though. Let's see. Um, I think I'll be okay, but we'll see. Um, plan is to go to the gym tomorrow morning, and um, we'll pick it up from there. If not, I will see you next for the weigh-in. All right, guys, it is Saturday morning. We are here at the gym. Uh, don't know what I'm going to work. It's kind of like a quote-unquote free day. Um, I'm guessing arms today. And maybe some lats. Not really sure what I'm going to do, honestly. We're just going to kind of wing it in there. I mean, any workout's better than no workout. Um... And then we'll finish off with 30 minutes of cardio. Then we'll go home, get ready for the weekend. And we will do the weigh-in. See you in a little bit. All right, guys. Got done with my workout. So we just hit biceps, triceps, different exercises doing those two. Um, that's all I really focused on today. Uh, finished with 30 minutes of cardio. Now we're going to go home. Get ready for the day and let's do the weigh in. See you soon. All right, guys. So, just got back from the gym. Gonna get ready for the day and let's do the weigh in. See where I'm at. The heck? Let's keep turning on. Hold on. Redo, redo, redo. Hold on. All right. Two sixty nine even. That's actually a point 
eight game from last Saturday. Boo this man! Um, because I was at 68.2 last Saturday. Let me get ready, do a little bit of thinking, do a little reflection, see what possibly happened. Um, but yeah, I'll be back with my weekly summary, let you know what, ha what I think happened. All right. All right, guys, so it is Saturday at 6.33. Um, some time has passed. I really had to reflect on what I think happened. So, um, oh, by the way, I just got back from going to a buffet. Um, uh, Golden Corral. So, with that said, I had my buffet through a hardcore munch. Uh, we drank water, though, so that's one mistake I'm correcting big time. No sugary drinks to that. Obviously, that fucks me up. So, reflecting this past week, what possible, what I think happened. So, during my work week, you see that I usually take my meal prep plus typically just two turkey sandwiches, some chips or whatever. Very, not light, but not as heavy. This past week, I remember taking a couple of additional meals that I want to say, guys, they... So let me, let, me, let me step back. So the turkey sandwiches with the chips, that fills me up, settles my stomach, fills me up, and, you know, lasts until I get to later on tonight where I eat my meal prep. What was happening this week, recalling, was um, I was taking a secondary meal that was very heavy. Not only was it filling me up, but it was making me feel stuffed. And I'm pretty sure you can relate. There's a difference between feeling full and feeling stuffed. So I was feeling stuffed with that with that secondary meal. So I think it's just those additional calories that just messed me up this week. So, yet another thing we have to learn from. Um, there's nothing wrong with taking a different meal. I mean, I don't want to just be taking the turkey sandwiches all the time. But if I'm going to be taking an additional meal, um, I can't take it where I'm going to be feeling stuffed. I want to know, I want to be able to feel full. So with that said, this week coming up, guys, obviously I am going to be, I don't know what I'm going to be taking to work yet. Um, but if it is kind of like leftovers, because that's what those meals were, the secondary meals, they were just leftovers that I just put together, honestly. Um, but they were, like I said, they, I felt stuffed after I ate them on top of my meal prep meal and then everything else. So I really think that's what happened. Um, so plans for this weekend, obviously we had the buffet. Um, it's already 6.30 at night. I don't know if I'm going to eat again. If I do, it's just going to be, be the meal replacement. And um, what else? So tomorrow's Sunday. You know, just be able to enjoy myself a little bit. And again, Sunday night. Very, very light eating Sunday night. Um, probably the same thing, you know, just because I do my grocery shopping. I, I do like to buy that little box of uh, fruit. So I'll eat that, the mixed fruit, and also some protein, meal replacement. And that should be it. Um, uh, no, no sugary drinks. So again, this is just a process guys. Again, I'm not discouraged um, Could have been a lot worse a lot worse and this is not discouraging me from continuing this journey But again, I'm making mistakes as I go along and I'm Learning from them. So when we keep moving on, I'm pretty sure there's gonna be other mistakes I don't know what they're gonna be, but We'll see anyway guys. I will see you next week. I'll see you Monday morning to see the damage that we did